I'm Dr. Chip Levy. I'm a professor of medicine at, in the Department of Cardiovascular Diseases, John Oshner Heart and Vascular Institute, Oshner Clinical School, and the University of Queensland School of Medicine here in New Orleans, Louisiana. And I'm here to discuss our study entitled Left Atrial Volume Index Predicts Mortality Independent of Left Ventricular Geometry in a Large Clinical Cohort with Preserved Ejection Fraction. And this study is published in the August 2011 issue of the Mayo Clinic Proceedings. I'd like to first acknowledge the main author of this paper, Dr. Dom Patel, who did an excellent job throughout this study, as well as my co-authors, Drs. Hector Ventura and Richard Milani. There have been numerous studies that show that many disorders of the heart affect the left atrium, and probably the one that's most implicated is diastolic dysfunction. In fact, left atrial enlargement for cardiovascular diseases is kind of like the glycosylated hemoglobin in diabetes. Anything that affects cardiac structure and function tends to cause left atrial enlargement. And certainly, numerous studies have shown that left atrial enlargement is associated with increased morbidity and mortality. Our study is unique, though, for three main reasons. First, we studied a very large cohort of nearly 36,500 patients who are typical of patients having echocardiograms across the United States and the world every day. Second, our patients did not have serious valve disease and did not have significant left ventricular dysfunction. In fact, all had an ejection fraction that was greater than or equal to 50%. And third, we demonstrated the importance of left atrial enlargement to predict and increase mortality independent of left ventricular geometry. We and others have published studies showing increased morbidity and mortality with left ventricular geometric abnormalities, things like concentric remodeling and eccentric and concentric left ventricular hypertrophy. But in this study, we showed that the enlargement of the left atrium increased mortality independent of left ventricular geometry. And in fact, for every given left ventricular geometric profile, there was a statistically significant increase in mortality associated with severe left atrial enlargement, which we defined as greater than or equal to 40 ml per meter squared, according to the American Society of Echocardiography. In fact, in patients with normal structure and concentric remodeling, severe left atrial enlargement increased mortality by 30 to 40 percent, and in patients with left ventricular hypertrophy, severe left atrial enlargement increased mortality by over twofold. Now, we believe that these results have quite significant clinical significance. There are numerous patients in the United States and the world that have echocardiograms every day and are found to have normal systolic function. Most laboratories measure the left atrium, but many do so in only one dimension or maybe two dimensions and don't calculate a left atrial volume and a left atrial volume index. I believe that our results will probably stimulate some laboratories to look at the importance of this, measure left atrial volume and left atrial volume index, and to report these results. Our results also have significant implications for patients. Certainly, it tells us that we'd like for our patients to prevent left atrial enlargement. And the easiest way to do so is to prevent and treat hypertension and to tr prevent and treat overweightness and obesity. But it also tells us for the very large number of patients who already have significant left atrial enlargement, they're at increased risk. And therefore, they're going to need, these patients are going to need uh, closer follow-up and more aggressive medical therapy. Now, certainly it would be important for other laboratories to confirm our results and also to show that these results whether they're additive with diastolic dysfunction or whether left atrial volume index being increased is a surrogate for left atrial or left ventricular diastolic dysfunction. Also, it would be nice for laboratories that have information that we did not have, things like symptoms, um, medications, uh, reasons for referral. Uh, this type of information would strengthen the finding from our study. In conclusion, 
There are a very large number of patients who have echocardiograms across the United States and the world each day and are found to have normal systolic function. In these patients, an increased left atrial volume index is an independent predictor of increased mortality, and the increased mortality associated with left atrial enlargement is also independent of left ventricular geometry. Thank you. We hope you benefited from this presentation based on the content of Mayo Clinic proceedings. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you're interested in more information about Mayo Clinic Proceedings, visit our website at www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you will find additional videos on our YouTube channel, and you can follow us on Twitter. For more information on healthcare at Mayo Clinic, please visit www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.